the story of Victor Kanu continues. After that life-defining moment with him in the interview room in the early 80s, Victor became a staunch devotee of Bhagwan and plunged himself into his mission of educare, taking the message of the five human values all over the United Kingdom and also to parts of Africa. In 1989, Swami surprised Victor and his wife Genevieve with a command. He said, "Go to Zambia and spread my message of love through education. Build a school." Genevieve thought for a while and then made bold to ask, "But Swami, where are we to get the money from?" Bhagwan instantly said, "Sell your property and use that money to build my school." and if that is not enough borrow from the banks victor had been to zambia just once before and knew hardly anyone there it was a strange country for him thousands of miles away from his native land in africa it was one of the poorest and most challenging nations in the world of course very much in need of bhagwan's love and grace victor surrendered himself completely to bhagwan He sold his home, car, everything, even the pots and pans at his house in London. Leaving nothing behind, Victor with his wife left for Zambia. Bhagwan further instructed them to build the school in the most impoverished part of Ndola in Zambia. A place which had no proper roads, electricity, or even water supply. Victor collected the local village contractors and started building the school. Together they toiled day and night. There were too many challenges including threats to his life. But the work did not stop. Swami's love protected him all the while. Eventually in 1991 the first ever Satya Sai school outside India was completed ready to accept students. and transform their lives through the five human values as per swami's command the school began with three primary classes students could be found easily for these classes but as the school wasn't recognized yet they could not get students for the secondary classes so victor decided to pick all those students who had failed to qualify in the recognized secondary schools and had no place to go He and his wife molded these students with so much love that they transformed completely. They not only stopped their notoriety but began to shine brilliantly in academics and otherwise. These very students who had failed to qualify in the secondary school examinations before made the school famous. Because after 2 years when they took the grade 9 national examinations their grades were the highest in the country. The Satya Sai School instantly earned the epithet "the Miracle School of Andola, Zambia." The school grew from strength to strength. The Deputy Minister of Education and Development of Zambia, who inspected the school later, even recommended building Satya Sai schools all over the country. When Baba asked Victor to sell all his belongings and build the school, he thought, "If Baba wills, he can create anything." But yet, he asked me to do it. I am so glad that God asked me. When Victor called, Swami responded. When Swami called, Victor responded. God only needs our sincerity and availability then he gifts us with the ability and the miraculous experience of his divinity. <laughs>